everyone, I am Tobi Ayani and before I start this video, I have an apology to make to you guys. I am really really sorry that this video took a while to come up and um, um, it's because I wanted to compare the Infinix 04 Plus with the 04. Unfortunately, I couldn't get my hands on the 04 on time, so I decided to make do with what I have. So I have the Infinix 04 Plus and the Techno Phantom 6 Plus. So it's like the battle of the pluses. I hope it's not too late to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. For those that are just meeting it for the first time, um, you, it will interest you to note that the Infinix 04 Plus comes with a 5.9 inch screen. And I'm like, I don't just make it 6.0. Like, what's the 0 0.02? <laughs> when it comes to the 5.9 inch screen, you also get a Corning Gorilla Glass protection. Aside from that, you get a 13 MP front facing camera, a 20.7 back facing camera. It has a hybrid SIM, which means that you have to sacrifice either a second SIM or a memory card. Um, it comes with a 32 gig ROM, a 4 gig RAM. And all the specs you're going to see on the screen right now. So you have the Infinix. Zero four plus is pretty loaded. Same thing with the Phantom Six Plus. Now the first thing I have is the camera test. Precisely, I tried to document my experience in a downfall boss with the Infinix Zero Four Plus. For those that are just watching that not Lagosians or non Nigerians, a downfall boss is like a public transport. Is they are usually yellow. And um, um, it's what we use to convey ourselves from one place to the other. So, um, yeah, it's a public transport. There are different types, but this is very, very popular. Unfortunately, I had so many issues while doing that. Now, I entered the downfall bus. And when I entered and I brought out the phones to record, the guys in the bus started looking at me like... And then one person just said, Auntie, please, I hope you're not recording me. Because... People are coming up before you know it. My, my picture will be on, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram. I beg, oh, please. So that was like every passenger in the bus joined in and they said they don't want me to take their picture. They don't want me to blah, blah, blah. Of course, everybody has their rights. So I apologized and I came down from the bus and I went to look for another bus. But this time, instead of me sitting at the back, I sat down in front and I paid for the other seat, like you're going to see right now. Yes, that's me, sweaty after the insult and the embarrassment I got. I was actually getting in the mood, hoping to, you know, show you guys the downfall life and everything, only to discover that there was one tout on my left and one another tout on my right. And if you live in Lagos, this is this is December period. If you live in Lagos, you know one tout on your left, one tout on your right, danger. <laughs> so I kept my phone down. But when I discovered that it was safe, I brought it up again. But I wasn't really comfortable. And so yeah, that is pretty much all that I experienced in words. Yeah. Moving forward, when it comes to the quality of the camera, I love what I see. On the Zinfinix 04 Plus, I love the colors. I love the fact that the colors are really vibrant. Unlike the Phantom 6 Plus, which has a really, really dull tint. And also, while the bus was moving like you're seeing now, I discovered that the optical image stabilization came into play, even even if it wasn't too much, but it still you could still see that, um, um, that it was more stabilized than the Phantom 6 Plus. So right now, I am in the downfall. I don't know if you can hear me. I went to ICM wanting to take everywhere, climb upstairs, but it wasn't possible because the experience in the bus just made me lose everything. I wasn't, I was now back to being shy Toby and yeah, I'm sorry guys. I disappointed you. I'm sorry. Right now, I am actually going to enter the hall back home. I'm actually very tired now, but what can I do? What can I do? So, I might not hold my phone so bad because I don't want people looking at me. I was this girl doing. <laughs>
the only thing I notice is that the front camera can be annoying sometimes. It does get this color correction that you might not really like. Like when you take a picture, it tries to correct it and then there's this tint that appears on your picture. I hope an update fixes this. <laughs> Guys, this is actually where I'm supposed to sit. <laughs> oh, let me come down when it's full. I'll enter. Aside from that thing I noticed, I think my experience with it was not so bad. Yeah, even if my downfall experience was bad, but my experience with the Infinix Zero Four Plus wasn't so bad. And in this aspect, the Zero Four Plus takes the crown. Now. Moving forward, you know that it comes with a um a four gig so RAM and a lot, but how would it fare when you do like hardcore multi taxing? So I'm starting this with the power on and power off test, and this is a power on test, and the Infinix Rufa Plus takes this one. Next is our power off test, and yes. Zero four plus also takes this for the speed test. We're starting at twenty percent on the zero four plus with Wi-Fi switched on, and for the Phantom Six, we're starting at twenty six percent with Wi-Fi switched on, too, and clearing everything. And we're starting off with the Chrome browser, guys. Yes, the Phantom Six Plus takes this lead. And I'm going to leave it at this point for our uh, multitaxing. Next is Instagram, which which would it be? Yes, the Phantom Six Plus wins this round. As you guys can see, it's a draw right now, so I'm leaving it at this point. Next is YouTube. And, and oh my god, yeah, the Phantom 6 Plus takes this one. And as usual, I'm going to leave it at a point to see if it would resume back. And yep, I'm, I think I'm going to leave it at this point. So, leaving it at that point. Next is our game, and I'm starting off with re racing. And which would it be? Yes, the Phantom 6 Plus takes the lead. Yet again. Next is Unkilled. Yes, the Zero Four Plus takes this one. Yes, the Zero Four Plus takes this for the Doubting Thomases. Yes, it's obvious that the Zero Four Plus is the winner here. And next is our Antutu benchmark, which has been programmed already. And our Zero Four Plus is also taking this one. So we have a 5 4 lead. At the end of 9 minutes, we've drained 2%. For the Phantom Six, we've drained 3%. We've used about 1.8. Now for the multi-taxing, we're starting off with Chrome, and yes, the Phantom 6 Plus is real good at multi-taxing as we can see. Next, yep, next is YouTube, and remember we left it at a point, this is reloading again, which is bad, and yes, the Phantom 6 Plus is clearly taking this. So it's obvious that the Infinix Zero Four Plus is not so good at multi-taxing. Next is on a light killer, and same thing, guys. Same thing, same thing. I'm actually shocked that 
the phantom 6 plus is taking everything in this department now guys look at the settings everything is actually set to default so no anki panky here so now we're going to test out the frame per second on the zero four plus i'm playing real racing right now but i'm also calculating the frame drops as you can see at the top left corner and at the end of five minutes of gameplay we've had about 31 fps and it has used about 597 mb Finally, the fingerprint test and um, both of them actually did well. They did excellently. Now, there's one thing I noticed with the Infinix Zero Four Plus, and the fact that um, um, the voice recognition. Yes, the Infinix Zero Four Plus has a voice recognition. If you want to read more about everything, you can head over to Miss Techie. And um, yeah, it has a voice recognition flaw, and by that I mean that even when you did not see your keyword, for example look at this now look at this miss techie yeah yeah now when um, the infinix zero four plus is in a noisy environment it can unlock it like your skin your screen comes alive without you touching anything and yeah if you don't care for that just switch on the voice recognition right, besides that the infinix zero four plus is a very great phone like i said if you want to read more about everything well detailed that is not in this video review you can check my written review on mistechie.com that's pretty much all i have guys i hope you guys like it and um if you do you know what to do all that like subscribe and please connect to all my platforms it, it, it encourages me to do more if i see the numbers increase and um yeah it's almost christmas and i'm pretty excited and there's one more video that i'm going to do for this year before i call it quits and move on to the next agenda for 2017 my name is Toby Ayeni of MissTechie.com and as you know 2016 is almost over and it has been a rather intriguing and unpredictable year for most of us but guess what we've actually had a lot of happy moments worth celebrating for me my best moment was when I got interviewed by CNN and BBC radio for an article I deployed on Miss Techie. but enough about me I want to know about you what are your best moments of 2016 why don't make a video and upload it on Instagram using the hashtag best moment ng and of course tag me guess what one lucky follower we actually go home with a cool smartphone from me Katsu Samsung so yes start making that video now